So my name's Tanvir Ahmed. Uh, I'm one of the councillors here. I'm, in fact, I have the privilege of being the newest councillor. I've only been elected for the last three or four years and it's been a wonderful privilege to learn about all the different aspects of what a local council does. But I also am a psychiatrist, which is my other job. And uh, through my psychiatry, I do some sort of media work in, in mental health as well. So one of the things council does is it effectively oversees Dremoyne Oval. It's a council ground. Uh, I was naturally attracted to Dremoyne Oval as a committee. It's got an extraordinary history. Like the rugby club there, the Dirty Reds, is one of the oldest sporting clubs in the country. It's had so many iconic figures from test cricketers to wallabies. And the Oval, just its setting is arguably, I'd argue it's probably the most beautiful ground in the, in the city, to be honest, in terms of just its setting, uh, with the bay in the background and the parks right around it. So there's something extraordinary about that Oval. But our key collective way of channeling community is through that Saturday or Sunday sporting club. So we've got Aussie rules, rugby, cricket, soccer, baseball, like you name it, and they all compete in this oval. They compete, but at the same time, they're a reflection of the great diversity of our, uh, of our city and our country and the real changing demographics and how we channel all these different influences through our community in Australia. You know, we pick up things, we take things, we, we try things. We're not a kind of uh, rusty old sort of culture. So it, it's all reflected through this oval. And more than that, it's becoming a major centre. We had an Australia-India um, women's game. We've had World Cup um, practice games. We've had one day matches, international games. And it shows how if you can produce something world class, even in a relatively a suburban setting, albeit a beautiful suburban setting, it can be a, an international, certainly be a national brand and e even more than that. It's a great marker of the power of events linking to its potential as a community resource. I think living in this area, there are fewer de more desirable places in the world to live in than Canada Bay. I think that combination of, um, of a tight community, of, of a great diversity, of beautiful natural beauty and access to wonderful services, and you know, an interesting group of people that you're thrust together in places like schools or halls or community facilities or parks, where so many people from so many different walks of life can still feel like they have something in common. It's a, it's a great testament uh, you know, to the power of our country you know, to integrate different groups and give them a chance at a, at a wonderful, exciting life, which they can shape. So all of that feeds into my council work and it's been a privilege and I hope I can continue it in, in a, in a post-merger world, but we'll see.